please use subtitle translation to select desired language. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that around 15% of adults in the U.S., which is roughly 33 million people, have chronic kidney disease, CKD, according to a study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association in 2020. The prevalence of CKD in Taiwan was estimated to be around 11.9% among adults aged 19 years and older. Kidney disease is often silent in its early stages, with few noticeable symptoms. This can result in late diagnosis and treatment when the disease has already progressed to end-stage kidney disease. Early detection and intervention may help slow or halt the progression of kidney disease, potentially preventing it from reaching end stage. Certain populations are at a higher risk of developing kidney disease due to various underlying health conditions, lifestyle factors, and genetic predispositions. Here are the key groups of patients who are at increased risk. Patients with diabetes, high blood glucose levels over time can damage the kidneys filtering units, glomeruli, leading to diabetic nephropathy. Patients with hypertension, high blood pressure, high blood pressure can damage blood vessels in the kidneys, reducing their ability to function properly. Patients with cardiovascular disease, hypertension, diabetes, and obesity contribute to both cardiovascular and kidney diseases. Heart disease and kidney disease often coexist. Cardiovascular issues can lead to poor kidney perfusion and function. Individuals with a family history of kidney disease Family history can indicate a genetic predisposition to kidney disease, including conditions like polycystic kidney disease, PKD. Elderly population, kidney function naturally declines with age, increasing the risk of CKD in older adults. The elderly often have multiple comorbid conditions that can exacerbate kidney issues. Patients with obesity, obesity can lead to diabetes and hypertension, both of which are risk factors for kidney disease. Excess body weight increases the workload on the kidneys, leading to potential damage over time. Patients with chronic inflammatory or autoimmune diseases, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and scleroderma can involve the kidneys and lead to glomerulonephritis. These conditions can cause inflammation and scarring of kidney tissues. Patients with frequent or severe infections, chronic infections, for example, recurrent urinary tract infections, UTIs, and pyelonephritis can lead to scarring and reduced kidney function. Patients taking certain medications, long-term non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. Certain antibiotics and some chemotherapy drugs can be nephrotoxic. Patients with a history of acute kidney injury, AKI, AKI, can cause lasting damage to the kidneys, reducing their ability to recover fully. Patients with certain genetic conditions, for example, polycystic kidney disease, PKD, Alport syndrome, and other hereditary kidney disorders. Genetic mutations can directly affect kidney structure and function. Individuals with smoking habits, toxins in cigarettes, can damage kidney tissues and blood vessels. Smoking can exacerbate hypertension and reduce kidney blood flow, increasing the risk of CKD. Patients with high protein diets or excessive protein supplement use high protein intake can increase the kidney's workload, potentially leading to damage over time. The symptoms of early kidney disease may be subtle and easily overlooked. Some common symptoms include frequent urination, 
You may notice an increase in the frequency of urination, especially at night. Blood and urine. This may not always be visible to the naked eye, but can be detected through laboratory tests. Foamy or frothy urine. Excessive bubbles or foam in the urine may indicate the presence of protein, which is a sign of kidney damage. Fatigue and weakness. Kidney disease can lead to anemia and decreased production of red blood cells, causing fatigue and weakness. Swelling. Kidney disease can lead to fluid buildup in the body, resulting in swelling, particularly in the feet, ankles, hands, or face. Changes in appetite. A loss of appetite or a metallic taste in the mouth may accompany kidney disease. Difficulty concentrating and mental fog. Kidney disease can affect cognitive function, leading to difficulty concentrating, memory problems, and mental fog. Symptoms of late-stage kidney disease, also known as end-stage renal disease, ESRD, can include severe fatigue and weakness. As kidney function severely declines, fatigue and weakness can become debilitating. Decreased urine output. The kidneys may produce very little urine or none at all in late-stage kidney disease. Shortness of breath. Fluid buildup in the lungs can cause difficulty, breathing, and shortness of breath. Swelling. Swelling may become more severe and widespread in late-stage kidney disease, affecting the legs, ankles, feet, hands, face, and abdomen. Persistent itching. The accumulation of waste products can lead to persistent itching, which may be severe in late-stage kidney disease. Nausea and vomiting. Nausea and vomiting can worsen in late-stage kidney disease, often due to the buildup of toxins in the body. Loss of appetite and weight loss. A decrease in appetite can lead to significant weight loss in late-stage kidney disease. Muscle cramps and twitching. Electrolyte imbalances can cause frequent muscle cramps and twitches. Cognitive changes. Late-stage kidney disease can affect cognitive function, leading to confusion, difficulty concentrating, and memory problems. Hypertension. High blood pressure can become more difficult to control in late-stage kidney disease. Urinalysis is a valuable diagnostic tool for assessing kidney health and detecting kidney disease. This simple, non-invasive test involves examining the appearance, concentration, and content of urine. Here's how urinalysis can help in the analysis and diagnosis of kidney disease. Detection of proteinuria healthy kidneys typically filter waste while retaining proteins. Damage to the glomeruli, filtering units, can allow proteins to leak into the urine. Conditions indicated, chronic kidney disease, CKD, glomerulonephritis, diabetic nephropathy, hematuria, blood and urine. Blood present is not visible to the naked eye but detectable under a microscope. Blood in the urine can indicate kidney damage or other underlying conditions. Conditions indicated. Kidney stones, infections, trauma, tumors, glomerulonephritis, leukocytes, and nitrites. The presence of white blood cells, leukocytes, and nitrites in urine suggests a urinary tract infection. UTI, which can affect the kidneys. Conditions indicated pyelonephritis, lower urinary tract infections. Specific gravity indicates the concentration of urine, reflecting kidneys' ability to concentrate urine. Changes in specific gravity can signal kidney dysfunction. Conditions indicated chronic kidney disease, diabetes, insipidus, dehydration. 
pH level kidney dysfunction can alter the body's acid-base balance. Conditions indicated, kidney stones, renal tubular acidosis. Presence of cas-cas are cylindrical structures produced by the kidney and can contain different cell types or substances. Types of casts, hyaline casts, often seen in normal urine but can be increased in kidney disease. Red blood cell casts indicate glomerulonephritis. White blood cell casts suggest pyelonephritis or interstitial nephritis. Granular casts indicate chronic kidney disease. Fatty casts associated with nephrotic syndrome. Ketones high levels of ketones can be harmful to the kidneys. Conditions indicated diabetic ketoacidosis, starvation, alcohol abuse. Microalbuminuria detects small amounts of albumin in urine, an early sign of kidney disease. Conditions indicated early stage chronic kidney disease, diabetic nephropathy. This video is intended to provide health information. If you have a medical condition, please seek professional advice. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. Your support is my biggest motivation.